Good morning. I'm going to take you for a little walk through my fairy gardens. So this is where my inspiration began right here. Um, there was this big shell that we had and for a long time I wanted to plant something in it. And I just kind of started there. I brought it out here next to these two birch trees that we recently cut down because they were a hazard. Uh, they were, had been dead for a while. So as a kind of a, almost like a offering shrine area, I jazzed this place up with. So after I put some plants and stones and shells and figures um, here in the altar, I noticed um, this, I also repotted this jade. And for the first time since I've been here, I've never seen it flower. So. I feel like it's really happy here in this altar space that kind of started at the shell and kind of grew around. I started trying to put some moss down here, some painted rocks from the grandmother. And then this little spot here is quite nice. This is a nice spot. It's in the shade in the morning, so I can sit here and have my tea. And let's see, let's walk down the path. A little area that I've carved out. I call this part the, my secret garden. And I've got a couple chairs here. And it's quite hidden from the road. So this is my view out to the front. I've got this nice, I think it's called a quince. Um, and hummingbirds come right next to me and eat from the flowers and lots of honeybees. <sighs> I just like to come here and take a few deep breaths, maybe do some meditation, some breathing, and just appreciating these plants and the exchange that they offer um, and the way that they give and receive and just anything else um, there's little messages from nature that pop up all the time for me and so I'm just here to experience that also these clovers have come up right in front and they're edible so that's nice I every once in a while I come out and I chew on the stem of one of these it's very lemony so thank you nature and the grandmother female energy of the space.